what was the impetus to then turn to mobile and how, what was your process? I mean, you had to figure out how to build it, or what did you do exactly? Uh, this guy named Bob. Um, <laughs> this guy named Bob. Reached out to me and he said, I create apps, would you like an app for yourself? And that was before uh, people really been watching it on mobile. Um, it was maybe 20% that were watching on mobile. And uh, so it was not a big uh, problem um, when I would release my content. But, uh, so he created this app and he said everything is going to be in the one place and nobody's really been doing that. So that's why I did it so people can get my videos initially. And then now that I see um, that 65% of my audience are on mobile, <laughs> so I'm realizing that this is definitely where I should stay. That's interesting. And how long did it take for you to build your app? This guy named Bob. <laughs> I think he built it within a week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it was very fast and it was very free uh, for me. <laughs> it was very fast and very free for you. Yes. But, uh, and it has, it sort of, well, I guess it's paid off, because, uh, yes. but I mean, like, has it been a, a very successful for you in terms of engagement? Like, what is your audience like on mobile versus, let's say, on your channel? Yeah, well, you know, there's one problem with my app now that people can't really comment. Ever since YouTube has changed the logging process, uh, they can't really comment, so the engagement stopped. Um, but people get to watch videos and if they want to interact with me they just go and watch it again which is great online. Do, I notice also that there's more than just videos on your app. Has it been sort of a gateway to your merchandising items that you brought your um, uh, moosh walks? Your moosh walks. So, um, <laughs> yeah, which, she which somehow made it over to the snap yourself photo booth. I saw like your legs all over the Yeah, I put my legs media. everywhere. Uh, that's important. Um, uh, what's the question? Oh, how's the merchandise? So yeah, so the like bush walks are not um, on on the platform yet, um, and that's another problem that we have. That you can't really you can put the ads to your merchandise, which I just chose not to do it, but you can't directly link to your store online store. So that's been a downfall. But it's just great in general uh, because, like you said before, everyone is on their cell phones. Right. And when they're bored and then a notification comes in, they check out your video. I have four other channels. They go see what else I've been doing on other channels. Uh, so that's been very helpful. At least it's 65% of your audience is on mobile, which is uh, you know not that far from, I guess, what YouTube is publishing on their own statistics page which was somewhere around 55, 45 to 55% of all video content is being consumed on mobile. You know, some of the issues with that, of course, is that most YouTube videos on mobile are embedded or are in the browser so that they're not monetized. The only mobile uh, ads on YouTube uh, are on the actual YouTube app itself. And if for anyone who was at VidCon um, last summer, you know, the YouTube mobile app upgrades to the app was a big priority for YouTube. And I think part of that was because so much of the content was not getting monetized. And that was you know, a detriment not only to YouTube, but also the creators who are rep sharing on YouTube. Um, so they were trying to find a solution for, for that, and that was their own app.